Well, hello, stamping friends. How are you doing? Um, I'm pretty excited because I just received my pre-order from Stampin' Up! And let me tell you a little bit about this. Um, I ordered, let's see, we as demonstrators could order on, I think it was Tuesday. Actually, it was Monday night, late, late, late. So Monday night at one in the morning, which technically was Tuesday. I put my order in. I even did two days shipping, which would have meant it came on Thursday. And um, they shipped it right away. However, my little UPS person did not bring it until right now. Oh my gosh. So I've waited. Let's see. I got six days shipping and paid for two days shipping. Well, Stampin' Up! made it right and they, um, you know, worked out the the extra money that I paid to have it shipped but oh my goodness I've been going crazy waiting for this box to come in so I haven't even opened it yet so I wanted to share that part with you and then I also want to share with you I am starting an in color club I've done this for the past three years and it is just the best deal around because you're going to get a discount on these products and you are really going to love the new in colors now I've only seen them on PDF format and um, you know online but I haven't seen the real thing so when I open it is the first time I will see it as well as you so I haven't done an unboxing yet so I'm gonna see if I can do it by showing my hands rather than me holding it up because it's going to be backwards and thank you for joining I see Terry and Chris I think is on there I'm not sure what other names popped up but let me switch this around and let's get to the good stuff all right switch this here is the box and uh, i might have to zoom out a little bit well i'll open it and then i'll pull everything out one by one so oh i just can't believe how long it took i get so excited over things like this so first you'll see my bubble wrap <laughs> oh man all right now actually i'm going to move this to the side a little bit because I'm going to have to have room to show the product. Hold on. You can tell I was not prepared for this because I was so anxious to show you guys. So let me zoom just a little bit. Hold on. It's not going to let me zoom. All right. Okay. So let me get the bubble wrap off. The first thing we have is... Oh, where do we start? Let's start with stamp sets. So I have... This is called Field of Flowers. Isn't that cute? And the thing about this one is, um, this stamp set has a punch that is bundled with it. And look at how cute those little flowers on are. Do you know how many times I have fussy cut these little flowers? Like I did an Easter bunny and he had a little flower by his ear and I cut ones that were this big. So now you're gonna get a whole, it's a border punch, but you can use them singly too. But anyway, you can stick all these little flowers up in here. So isn't that a cute set? So Field of Flowers Bundle. That is one of my favorites. The next thing is Jar of Flowers. I'm so glad they brought a jar set back. It's two-step stamping. So there's, um, you know, if you want your jar colored, maybe in that pool party light blue to give it that old look and then there's a punch that goes with that sometimes punch are, punches are easier and faster than um, framelit so I love it when they do a punch bundle and then I gotta dig here let's see there are these cute little mason jar um, little things that you can put shaker things in or seeds or whatever you want. Aren't they cute? And they're gonna fit the punch. So, and all you need is foam tape with that, but oh, they're so adorable. Let's see, just so you get an idea, I was gonna measure, oh, here's my ruler. <laughs> These are about two and a quarter inches long by about one and a half inches wide. So isn't that adorable? This is gonna be a mess when I'm done because I'm gonna pull everything out. The next thing we have is, this is an embossing folder and it's a 3D embossing folder. It's called Tasteful Textile. It looks like fabric. So that's gonna be just a little bit more subtle than Subtle's <laughs> embossing folder. But um, actually what I'll probably do is emboss it and then show it to you. But I wanna get through all this new stuff. Now this one is really cool. Oh gosh, what does that look like? <laughs> Almost looks like 
scrunched leather, but it's old world paper. And the reason I wanted this one is I think that if you emboss watercolor after you're done watercoloring, it's going to have an even more watercolory look. You know what I mean? I'm really anxious to try that one. All right, the next thing we have is Flowers for Every Season Ribbon Bundle. Let me pull these out just so you can see close. This is Whisper White, and this looks like the green that we have, possibly Mint Macaron, and then one of the blues. And I think it's the in color. Actually, these are the two in new in colors, the Jade and the Moonlight Madness, I bet. Uh, it doesn't say on there. Okay, so that's that. Then we have, well, you know what? I should show you the new in colors before we start. Let me dig those up. You can look at uh, Mag Magenta Madness is the first one. Oh, gosh, that's really a cross between. It's lighter than Melon Mambo, and it's like we don't have a color like that at all. Then Bumblebee is really nice. It's kind of a... Mm, not quite like crushed curry. Oh gosh, you know what? I do have this chart here. Let's compare it. So here's Melon Mambo compared to that. It's lighter. Then Bumblebee is almost the same except a little more goldy than crushed curry. Crushed curry is a little bit more yellow. Then this is, I think, one of my favorites, the Cinnamon Cinder. And this one just looks like apple cider kind of. Um, Boy, what is it close to? Really, none other. It's not at all like crumb cake. It's more orange than crumb cake. Kind of a cross between maybe pumpkin pie and crumb cake. It's just got its own color. But just think of apple cider. That's really what it looks like. Misty Moonlight is a really nice blue. And, hmm, that one is definitely lighter than navy. See the difference here? It's kind of a, a dusty navy really nice color and the last one is just jade which let me see what one that one is close to kind of like you know what it's like a darker mint macaron is what i would say oh it's so pretty look at those aren't they nice i'm gonna make some more of these too i might have this as a perk for ordering so watch for that um here's the ribbon that goes with the magenta the moonlight madness the jade and uh this is the is that the bumblebee it's got to be bumblebee and this is an added bumblebee one not part of this but it's a small gingham one and which one are we missing magenta one two three four here we go the cider one so let's move this aside. Aren't those pretty? All right, so now you saw all the in colors. Now um, I am just random mix and match here, okay? So don't think there's any order to this. This is another stamp set that I earned for free called Comfort and Hope. And we had a promotion just for demonstrators before. If you earned it, um, then you got this for free. So this one I didn't even have to buy. Isn't that pretty? I love that little swirl there. Just kind of nice little images and sentiments that will work for anything, really. I love the little background ones that you can add. The next thing I want to show you is some of these little, um, let's see what they are. Flowers for every season. So I showed you that stamp set. But they're little gems. There's clear and the um, jaded green, it looks like jaded jewel i gotta learn these new names <laughs> but anyway those could be used in the shaker card or individually they are really cool so that's another item then I'm keep i'm gonna keep digging here this one is one of our punches and look at this cool thing there's all these different dimension or um, widths of paper that you slide in there and it makes a label so you cut both sides or one if you want but that way whatever sentiment you work you just first pick the width of it and then you pick the length you know how sometimes some sentiments don't really fit in the punch you want to use or the die well this one you can custom make to fit whatever sentiment you have so um anyway that's a really cool punch and it's double so and it's called lovely labels pick a punch 
Oh my gosh, my heart is just pounding here. All right, now we're gonna get to some paper. Oh wait, there's one more little embellishment here. Okay, this is gonna be part of the In Color Club. This is one of the little embellishments you'll get. They're called enamel dots, and they're just like little, they look like brads without the pokey part, you know? That's about the size they are, maybe like a fourth of an inch. And they're, oh, they're the perfect shade. They're not glimmer ones, they're just plain. They look like pearls, but they're flat. So they're gonna be like stickers. So with the club, each month you'll get a different color pack. And when it's the bumblebee, you know, you'll get the bumblebee ones. So um, it's just gonna be a great way to get all these in colors, but more affordable because they're gonna be on sale and you'll get um, you'll get the payments spread out over five months rather than buying them all at one time because you know, once you get all those products, it adds up and this'll help with budgeting a little bit. All right, this paper is called Forever Greenery, and let me get my paper opener. As you can tell, totally not prepared. I just like grabbed my camera and I said, whatever comes out, comes out. I just wanna rip this box open and show you guys. So let me pull out the paper. Oh boy, this is really pretty. You know what, green is one of my favorite colors. So. There's a nice stripe. I love when they do contemporary and floral together because it just depends on what I'm working with and what I'm in the mood for. That one's more of a, like a fern print. Then we have leaves with more of a white background. Oh, that's gonna be nice for kind of a jungly look. This will good, look good with that tropic stamp set we have. Then this one has, see how they're a little more contemporary and then more of the floral and leaf look and then oh that one's nice too very pretty these papers always look even better in person and then this one oh that's pretty too they always put the light with the dark and i like the white background with it so that's that paper pack again that was called forever greenery now the next one, oh my gosh, this one's my favorite because I was so disappointed when we didn't have our wood paper anymore and wood is still very much in the palette board look. Look what my background is, it matches that. All right, so the good thing about this DSP is you get 24 sheets in it and it's called In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. Holy cow, this will take a while to get through. All right. I don't know how to just, okay, there's more of the contemporary again. So there's one wood look. This one's more of like a burlap. Actually, it looks like that textured background embossing folder that I sent you. And that's more of like a tile look. So they're not all wood. They got a little bit of everything here. Fabric look, stone and wood. That's like a, that looks like paint. Paintbrush marks, it looks almost 3D-ish a little bit. Looks like Rococo Rose in there with it. That's pretty. Another wood set. Oh gosh, these prints are just amazing. They're not all wood prints, isn't that pretty? That's kind of like, I'm not sure if that's the new blue or if that's Night and Navy. Oh, this is a uh, cement look with, oh, that looks like that, um, you know, that, tile that goes on fireplaces or in the kitchen but I love the cement background another wood print with a textile looks like fabric very pretty oh this one looks like fabric as well it's kind of like a not really petal pink it's kind of cross between rococo rose and petal pink and then that looks like a tile design again very pretty this is another paint. It looks like acrylic paint on some canvas with wood on the back. And this is the same acrylic paint with the blue background and more tile. Oh my goodness. And this is a lighter wood print with a textile. Very um, neutral color there. It's more of a vanilla color. And this one is a fabric kind of a grayish black. Maybe it's blue. It seems to go with that. Maybe it's more like that dark blue. It almost looks like denim. Oh, that's a pretty print as well. Okay, I think we got one left in this pack. Can you believe all these papers in one pack? And this is a light, light wood with just more stone here. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. The next item is 
the World of Good Designer Series paper. And this one is, oh gosh, this has metallic on it with globes and kind of a print with maps on. More gold in this one with kind of a black background and green. That looks like old olive. Very, very pretty. This one has more maps. Remember, this set is going to go with the Old World one. There's always a gold um, tone in here. That looks like our new bumblebee color. Very pretty. This one is like a bird's eye view. Lots of gold here with our new um, Midnight Moonlight Madness. Oh my gosh, Lori, learn these colors. <laughs> and this is kind of a like handwriting here. So very old world. Oh, so pretty. All right, let's get to the next. This is, oh, this one doesn't have gold on, but it's still very pretty. That's our um, new um, cider one, cinnamon or whatever, and a map. This will be good for traveling. And then the last one is another. Uh, this looks like our new blue, the midnight. <laughs> what is it called? Oh, I don't even have them written down anywhere. Um, but that one's um, very neutral and kind of like a, uh, I'd say a little bit of a maroon look to it, but very pretty. All right, we are almost done here. Um, I just bought duplicates of that. The last one is just this little in color designer series paper and I won't go through all of them, but I will show you one color group so that you can see what the different prints are on it. All right, so there's a nice little dot one, kind of geometric. Oh, isn't that pretty? Looks totally denim. So that's that one. Then the next one is tiny little words. Let's see. Don't have my bifocals on, but um, just kind of really small writing. And then a wood grain. So those are the four prints that you will get in each color group. So that gives you an idea of what that looks like. Now, let me share with you my in color club that's starting, which I have buried underneath all my new products. So each month, June through October, you will receive all of these items. There's a full pack of cardstock, one ink pad, one ink refill, a stamp and write marker. That's the skinny ones like like this, not the blends, but you also will get two blends, the light and the dark. You'll get 20 of those enamel dots, eight sheets of designer paper, and remember this is per month because you're eventually gonna get all of these. You get one bolt of that ribbon that I showed you. It's the 1 fourth inch twill ribbon. And then I'm also gonna make you a hand stamp card featuring the color that we um, that I send you that month. I'm not sure which color I'm going to start with, but in June you'll get one color of all of this, then the next month you'll get that, and then that, and that, and that. Now the pricing for this. These are all the items that I just told you about. Now if you get it, and I ship it to you, it's $55 plus $8 priority mail, which means it'll get there in two days. And that's $63 per month, and I will bill you via PayPal. Or if you want to pick it up at my house because you're local, you can save the shipping, and it's $55, and you'll get all of that. So I am so excited. Oh, my gosh, I cannot wait to start playing. I guess the other things that I had on my to-do list are not going to get done today because I'm just going to play with all of this. But thank you so much for joining me and um, stop back on my, my Facebook page because I'll definitely be sharing things that I make, but um, we also want to get through this month. So I'm going to also be sharing things that are still current and that are running out and are going to be on a limited time basis because the end of this catalog is May 3rd or is it May 31st? Yeah, I think it does go May 31st or June third. I can't remember exactly, um, but the new catalog we can order from on June 4th. So thank you again for joining us and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.